So today's video is going to be another product review. It's actually something that you may have seen about six months ago. I think that's when I when I first seen it on Instagram and like social media. And I see a lot of YouTubers reviewing it. Maybe the YouTubers I watch don't review it, but it's the Luster Pink line, the new Shea Butter and Coconut Oil line. This is what it looks like. Bam, bam, bam. So that's what it looks like. It's a very pretty bottle. The Luster Pink Shea Butter and Coconut Oil line is for natural textured hair. It hydrates, seals and moisture, softens, controls, frizz. Now this qualities and characteristics is from the moisturizing hair milk. And that is with Shea Butter Coconut Oil, but it's also with sunflower seed oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and argan oils. It has vitamin E and pro vitamin B5. This doesn't do anything for my hair in terms of like moisture, unless I add it with other things, but it works wonders, I've noticed, with combinations of oils and, and products that have this plus coconut oil. And if you guys watch my videos coming up, you'll know why I say that because now I've noticed I've been kind of like hindering away from or well, pushing myself away from stuff that have coconut oil in it just because the natural hair community keeps saying that coconut oil doesn't work for their hair. But just because it doesn't work for your hair as a pure oil doesn't mean that it won't work in combination with many different products. I'm gonna caution you, this product is amazing under certain conditions for my hair. And notice I say for my hair. If it worked for my hair, it doesn't mean it will work for your hair. This baby, baby, this needs water before you apply it because if not, it's gonna be dry. And I tested it out yesterday when I did this Bantu Knot Out, which if you love this, make sure you thumbs up this video just for your girl knocking out the Bantu Knot Out. I put it on and it didn't do nothing for my hair. <laughs> it just sat on my hair and I was just testing it out because I was gonna put my other products anyways. But I just test this out to see if it was still the truth. Cause you know how you test, you like, you be doing your hair and then you like test out one area of a product if it's a new product or you haven't used it in a while and then it like performs excellent and then all of a sudden you test it again and then it's like okay what conditions change to make it work versus not working <laughs> this is hilarious you guys okay so the next product i have from that line i only got two products when i tried it out because ain't nobody got time for all that money we be spending on natural hair you gotta limit your consumption but I got the Luster Pink Shea Butter Coconut Oil Super Moisturizing Curl Definer. Now, when I open this, you guys are going to see how empty this container is, how much I love this product. Now, this is in a span of maybe since November. Yeah, I say since November. It smells, their products smell amazing. These type of products that are thicker in consistency, as you can see, that's very thick. Don't work well with thicker leave-ins for my hair because I have low porosity hair. If I had high porosity, when I had high porosity, let's just put it that way, I never had a problem because <laughs> my hair needed that. Like my hair would escape moisture so fast that I needed something. I needed an oil to seal in every time. I needed a deep, a thick leave-in. I needed thick everything to hold my moisture in. Now, my hair don't care for that. It, it really don't like it. Um, if you have a moisturizing conditioner underneath, you don't need a moisturizing, as moisturizing of a leave-in. That's just, you just add, you just basically piling on extra stuff to your hair that you don't need because if your hair already moisturized you don't need any more right i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave it a like make sure you comment down below for video ideas see you guys in the next video